What an old book. I've read this when I was in first grade. And well, today, I'm going to introduce you this book. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I have this awesome fantasy book. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Introduced by Cornelia Funk. And who, if you don't know Cornelia Funk, she's kind of like a modern author. I think I did a few books about her, well, well, a few reviews about her books. And, well, let's get right on to it. You see, Dorothy, she's bored out of her mind, living in a gray farm in gray Kansas. And suddenly a, a, a tornado comes and he gets whipped into a magic land called the Land of the Wizard of Oz. There, Dorothy must go on perilous adventures, following the yellow brick road, and and ultimately the book is about Dorothy with her friends that she meet along the way: the Tin Woodsman, the Scarecrow, and the Cowardly Lion to, you know, defeat the witch, the Wicked Witch of the West, and. Well, obviously, it's a great fantasy for young readers, and I think this is a great starter fantasy. After this, you can go on reading Percy Jackson, because why the heck not? And, guy, literally, this is a great book. And, personally, I think what it symbolifies is the most important. Dorothy's companions, the Tin Woodsman, who desires a heart. The Cowardly Lion, who desires courage. And finally, the Scarecrow, who desires intelligence. You know, the three things that men want. The three things that in the Bible, Solomon, King Solomon was given by God. Intelligence, love, and of course, you know, courage. The three essential things that makes a great hero, in fact. I mean, think about all the heroes. Uh, Captain America, on and on. And, like, seriously, it's, that's really, um, it's really symbolic. And, you know, lions are usually courageous, but this lion is cowardly. And that's, like, kind of reverse kind of thing. Which also symbolizes, symbol symbolifies something. I'm not sure. And, personally, I think it was a great book for young fanny's readers. And personally, I love the fact that the symbolism is coming into this awesome story. It's like an actual legit fun story with our dear Dorothy fighting against the Wicked Witch of the West. When finally, the Dorothy uses water to defeat the Wicked Witch of the West. And the twists are pretty awesome too. They, it, it turns out that the Wizard of Oz, who was supposed to give them the heart, the, the brain, and the courage, he was no wizard at all. He was a simple man who tried to give the, the people uh, illusions, tricks, and it's kind of like psychology. Um, giving, giving water to a person and making him think that it's a magic potion of strength or, or integrity. Then, like, whoa. And sometimes with psychology, that works. And that's exactly what the Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz did. And in the, in the end of the book, Dorothy wakes up to find herself in her room. And she's like, what just happened? And it's like, it was a dream. But then, silver shoes of that, that turns up in and, and pretty much the first, second chapter of the book. Those magic shoes of the Wicked Witch of the West. I mean, Wicked Witch that died. And that sh those shoes were right under her bed. And she thought, it wasn't a dream after all. It was a great book. Makes me daydream. If I was uh, tor tornadoed off to a distant land, would I be able to, you know, come back home? That's something to think about. And great book, great symboliz symbolism, and like always, a really fun book. And like always, your book quester Aaron the book quester. Great symbolism with a thrilling, page turning plot.